guys, how are you doing? This is the car stripper here. Today is day eight of my quarantine. Hey guys, good afternoon. Today is day eight of my quarantine. Not long to go, after day 10 I'll be free. So I'm doing my day eight test today. The PCR test that I paid 210 pounds for, ridiculous, a rip off. Pay 210 pounds, so I'm doing my test for day eight. So I'll run you through it. So this is the bag that I've got for day eight that's come in the post. It's inside of the plastic envelope which I've taken out. So the testing kit is inside here. I'm gonna open that and see what's inside there. So I will do an opening up. Okay, so I'm opening my kit up now, see what's in there, opening the envelope up. Let's see what we got in here. This is what the government sends you for testing. They charge you 210 pounds for what? So I've got some instructions in here. You get instructions in here. Home test instructions. It says read these. It tells you what to do in that. Let's just these are no go. Let's just chuck these away. Waste of money they are, aren't they? Conservatives rip off. Right. So the bag is empty now. There's nothing in there, okay? We'll leave that for our code. So what have we got here? We've got a swab. We've got a security seal. We've got a, a vial. I think you call it a vial, right? Then we've got this uh, soft material uh, in here. I don't know what you call that, okay? Then we get an envelope. And then you get a box, right? So let's put this in here. Now, what you've got to do is, obviously you need a clean surface somewhere to do all this. You've got to wipe your surface down. So I've got my antibacterial wipe here. I'm wiping the surface where I'm going to be placing all these things. So if there's any germs, it kills them. So you wipe the surface down a worktop or whatever, or a desk, wherever you are. Just wipe it all down. You might not be able to see me wiping it down, but I'm wiping it down. Okay, once that's done, just chuck that into the bin. Okay, then you can put all your things down here. So, the bag is going down there, my seal is going down there, okay. All the things are down here, right, okay. Now, before you do all this, you've got to fill in a, a form online, so all your details. So you need your name, your date of birth, your address, your code, you know, Royal Mail package code, which is uh, on your box, this one here. So you'll need that too, okay. Uh, so obviously you do that. So I'll just pass that over to my assistant who's gonna be filling in my form and he's just doing that while I conduct the test. Okay, so we've got everything here. So we take the swab out. So where does it say tear the swab from which side? Has it got instructions on here? Yep, so we tear it from here. Take the swab out and get this right. So we're tearing the swab. So this is the swab. So you hold that. Okay. Let's just stick that swab back in there for the time being. So it's back in there. I need to get some uh, antibacterial on my hand too. Forgot to mention to say use some antibacterial on your hand. So we get some antibacterial, just rub it into your hands before you do the swabbing. You can see it's a big mess here, sorry about the mess behind there, but it's obviously all the junk there. So, hands are clean. Okay, now we grab the swab. And then I'm gonna be looking in the mirror and I'm gonna be filming myself at the same time Something very hard for you guys, for me to do for you guys. Appreciate everything I do for you guys, okay? On Facebook, on my watches, and also on, uh, you know, YouTube. Appreciate the things I do for you guys. So, it's a big ah, and then you go to the back of your tonsils, both sides, turn your swab around, okay? So be watching. I might make a funny noise, obviously, because I'm sticking this behind my throat. So keep watching. Don't get discouraged. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Oh, 
Oh, you get that sound because obviously you're twitching the back of your, back of your throat. So a couple of times on one side, a couple of times on the other side. Make sure the swab gets proper reading, proper, you know, any bacteria picks up from back of your throat. So let's do it again on the same side. Two times on the same side, you can do it to four times, but I, I don't need it two times. Uh, oh, oh, that's disgusting, that back of your tonsils. Okay, now the other side. Uh, oh, oh, that went in there. That really went in there. Oh my God. Oof. Look, you've had no food and breakfast, nothing to eat. Those would have been all out. Here goes again. Ah, oh, that's done. Now you've got to stick the damn thing up your nose too. Up your nostrils. Horrible, isn't it? Get it in your mouth and stick it in your nose. Right, here we go. Get the swab. Do it one side, then the other side. That's done. Right, now if that's done. Oh, that was horrible, that. Very horrible. Sorry about the shakiness on the phone, but obviously, you know, it's difficult. So, what you do then is you grab your bottle, the vial bottle, you open that up. Oops. Steady hands. So, you open that up. You stick the swab straight in there, so it's inside the water, and then you just snap it from the top like that, it should snap. What's going on here? There you go, it's snapped. So it needs a bit of a push. I didn't want to do that hard, I was a bit scared. So that's snapped. Then we put the lid back on top of it. If you can get the lid on it. What's going on here? Is this snapped in the right place? Yeah, so the lid's on. Then what we do is, we put that in the plastic bag, stick it inside the plastic bag, in there, stick that inside the plastic bag, seal the plastic bag, and put it inside the box that I showed you earlier. So I'm gonna turn my camera off, and I'll come back to you soon. So over here we have, the camera might be not straight. I've got nowhere to stand my phone up. Right, there's the bag. We stick that in the bag. It goes. Stick that in the bag there too. Pouch. And then we pull the seal off and seal it. So the seal comes off. Seals come off. Seal the bag, that's sealed. And then we just put this inside the box that I've got here. Obviously I've not made the box up, but once you've made it up, it goes in there, you just go to your lot of post box and send it off once the box is closed and everything like that. Right, you just go to your post office, give to them, or just post it in your local post box. And it cost me 250 quid for two ridiculous kits like this. The government is ripping us off 250 quid. I know they want to make their money back. Obviously they're paying a lot of people, you know, businessmen, people who are on follow, etc. But why oh, rip people off like me? You know, I've not had nothing off you. You know, I've not claimed nothing of you. You know, I'm not on furlough. You know, I've not had no money of you. So, you know, for 250 quid for two kits, it's ridiculous. I'm not happy with this. They should have got the money of the millionaires and the billionaires that are not paying tax in this country and used it. Well, that's another subject I can talk about some time, but I'm not happy uh, to spend 250, sorry, 220 quid on two kits like this. Ridiculous. I'm really, really not happy. If anyone else has got any opinions, please do message me. Please do uh, leave any questions and answers. Uh, on either Facebook or YouTube and keep watching my channel. This is a car stripper uh, You know, I'll show you more videos of myself here in the UK once my quantity is finished I'll be out and about and I'll also show you uh, Ramadan what we do in Ramadan because we're gonna be fasting from tomorrow. So a blog on fasting too. take care viewers speak to you soon